charity event for uh, the Melee community as well, raising mm -hmm. so much money for the cause. And I uh, super appreciate him reaching out to Ultimate Community to have one for uh, Ultimate as well. Yeah, I think he raised like over $10,000 on the Melee side. Nice. So, yeah, Ultimate Community. Like, we got to step it up. Yeah, we yeah. You more. guys got to match it. You got to match that. Yeah. Melee Community's been talking ish for like, I don't know, the last ever honestly <laughs> <laughs> can i'm show him up on everything so uh i saw mfa playing earlier uh i didn't see the whole set but his armor looked really impressive Three, two, all right and i have j paya g j paya i can't pronounce that <laughs> i'm sorry jp jp J jp okay we're gonna call him jp JP with the banjo. We don't, we don't see that much banjo either, surprisingly. Yeah, the character, I mean, everyone was so hyped for him to get in, but like once he came out, I guess he just didn't jive with so many people's play styles, but I think the character has some tools. And also quick shout outs to Luna for a $10 donation with the hashtag BLM uh, message on there. Much appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely agree. He doesn't oh. have the very conventional play style. You have to rely on the grenade and like mixing up your jumps and very, being pretty like uh, hit and run style. And maybe that just doesn't, you know, connect with so many people. Yeah. I mean, I expect him to be more of a like Unga Bunga character. Like he is a big dumb bear. I want him to do big <laughs> dumb bear things. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That forward air though is pretty uh, satisfying. Oh yeah, I love that move. That and his forward smash, just like slamming the bird. Yeah, exactly. Yes, give me more of that. They die so early. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's actually very strong. All right. But one of the things that is really important is that Banjo is quite heavy. So I don't know if MFA has a solid kill lineup right now. Oh, never mind. I'm surprised yeah, even I killed. Banjo. Yeah, even Banjo is going to die to yellow up smash. Maybe yeah. not the best DI, but uh, still, he was pretty high percent. And right now, he's trying to get set up with the grenade, but it's looking pretty difficult to get uh, that much reward off of it. A lot of these Wonder Woman's also been getting punished. And yeah, MFA is just backing up so much percent. Oh, man. Oh, try to do him dirty in front of his squad. Like, <laughs> even we're right there, too. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta go for it, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. All right, Sour Spot, luckily. Otherwise, JP would have been done. But managed to take away that stock. I didn't see how many Wonder Wings he has left. I think he has one more left. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, especially on your last stock and you're trailing by a lot. At this point, uh, if you're going to use it at all, it's probably going to be for like a rage kill. <laughs> not doing not too bad, though. Cover with it. Okay. This is, this is what you want. MFA starting to get tagged by these grenades. And uh, Banjo can kill pretty early, too. Oh, he wants that blue up, bro. Oh. oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, he died. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah I couldn't tell from the airplane. Like, <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, that, that blue up throw is always coming in clutch. That's another thing when you're fighting Alomar. You have to be cognizant of what his lineup is. Because if you know what pigment he has, you can tell uh, what option he's going to go for a lot of times. Mm. And you kind of even saw at the end there, MFA television for the grab and took a lot of... Uh... JP just kind of had to be wary of that. Yeah. I mean, he tunnel vision on the grab, but then also died to the grab, too. So that's why Almar so deadly. Like, he puts one thing in your mind, and then he'll hit you with that thing anyway after you took 800% from everything else. I think uh, JP, though, definitely starting to come together at that last stop for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Looked a lot more confident with a bit of momentum. Ready? Oh... Huh. We got a villager. Man, this guy, he plays the unconventional zoning characters. This guy's like, I don't want to fight anyone with my life. <laughs> <laughs> we are not scrapping. Do not interact. Three, two, one, go. And it's, uh, it's always interesting to see that type of character pick against Olimar because I feel like he can do both uh, the aggressive and like zoning projectile game really well. Mm-hmm. And right now we're seeing, I mean, a little bit of zoning, a little bit of projectile, a little bit of up smash in your face, and none of it's working out well for um, JP. 
Almost on uh, the the tech chase there. Also gotta be scared of this purple Pikmin. So so strong. Mm. I finally got some momentum for the first time in a while. Yeah, and um MFA is not trying to go low at all. I mean we know a villager will do. Yeah, that bowling ball is yep. a threat all the time. <laughs> And now that's gonna be his. Oh, he's gonna die that unsafe jab. But uh, that's gonna be his winning condition. I feel is just getting Almar off stage, harassing that recovery since he doesn't have a hitbox. Yeah, I think if Almar's there, like he might be able to neutralize it with like uh, up air. But yeah, if not, oh, great mash. Yeah, it's really good mash. Even at high percent, got out of there just in yeah. time. Oh. oh, I was so scared. He had three Pikmin. Uh, just do it again. Run it back. Yes. <laughs> Six six, not too bad. Tree doesn't have a chop in it, so it's just there to get the Lloyd rocket out of the way a little bit faster. Ride the whip. Oh, oh ride the whip wow. for Oblivion. Okay, great timing. Yeah, really good timing. He is vulnerable, but you have to hit him like at the perfect spot to avoid getting hit by the Lloyd rocket too. Oh yeah. my goodness, parry into the up smash. He's already at kill percent almost. It looked like he only had like, one interaction and took seventy percent. It's armor, man. He got the purple too, so that's just a crap ton of damage. Ooh, bruh! Another down air. Perfect timing again. Just like stalling or uh, snacking the two jumps there with the back air, and then just waiting him out perfectly. Getting that down air. That was super dominant display from uh, MFA.